Hi, Pagan Shooter here. Um, I am going to go ahead and do a quick review of my wife's uh, pistol. This is actually, I know this looks like the HP 25, like this gun, uh, and they're supposed to. Uh, the reason for it is they're both uh, Phoenix Arms. This is actually the HP 25. So you've got the two different rounds here. You've got the standard velocity HP or 22, and then you've got the 25 centerfire round nose. So this is just a standard ball shot. Uh, and when my wife does carry, she does carry the ball rounds and I know that it just leaves a little pinhole but you know what something is better than nothing and my wife is actually doesn't like the recoil very much so she's not very good with recoil so I she's gonna she's good as long as she's carrying something I'm happy um, so this is the 20 uh, HP 25 uh, it is a three inch barrel uh, looks suspiciously like the HP 22. Um, the really only difference that I can find is the slide and barrel are a different size. Um, other are, are, are different. The rest of the gun appears to be pretty much the same thing. Um, it When it comes, it comes in a box with uh, really just what you see here and a magazine. Um, it was $130, uh, same price as the 22, just the standard 22. Um, it has a ton of safeties. There is a safety that says if the, uh, it's not on safe, you can't drop the magazine. There is a safety where if you do not have a magazine in, you cannot pull the trigger. Uh, there's a safety on top, just like the HP 22, and then there's the slide lock slate safety as well. Um, what I have done is I have removed this panel, the side panel here. Uh, I did this on both this gun and the HP 22, and I removed, there is a piece, this piece right here is actually a piece of metal that comes up underneath the release here, drops down and goes back. Uh, I have purchased a separate one of those. I ground off the face of it, that little piece that goes underneath the release, so the safety does not have to be on to release the the uh, magazine. Uh, and then there's a, another safety in the back here that is a safety where you can't pull the trigger unless the uh, magazine's inside. Uh, I have also disabled that by using a small piece of paper clip. Um, and there's plenty of videos on how to do that. I just wanted to say that I actually agree with that. I think that's a silly thing to have. Um, now, that being said, I do like having an external safety on here, and it is a very positive external safety. Even, and even though this one hasn't been used that much, even with mine, where it has been used a lot, it's a very positive safety. Uh, I have heard of people saying that it doesn't uh, last very long, but it actually, on mine, it has. Uh, there's also a hammer block safety, which is here. Uh, flip it up, red means it's ready to go. Flip it down, black, it is not ready to go. Red, you're dead. <laughs> anyway, um, so in this case, uh, the hammer block is a good thing for my wife. She likes having the extra uh, safety on here. Um, it disassembles the same way that the HP-22 does. You lock the slide back. By the way, I know this is empty. Here's the magazine. Bullets out. I always check my guns before I start. So anybody that was thinking, he's not checking, I check them. Um, so the slides lock back. There's two pins up front. Push those forward. Barrel pops up and comes out. So the barrel slides out pretty easy like that. Now, to get the slide off, you would just release the slide, the, uh, the safety here and pull it forward and this whole piece comes right off. I'm going to go ahead and put it back on. You guys have seen me do that with the HP-22 probably 30 times. Uh, and then, of course, it locks forward. Now, different, uh, so the magazines appear to be the same thing. Now, this says this is a model HP-25. 
uh, on the side of the magazine. Uh, the side of this magazine actually says that it's an HP 22, 22 long rifle. But as far as the width of them, they look and are met when I measured them were the same. The difference appears to be in the bases. Uh, so it looks like they're using the same, this is the HP 22, this is the HP 25. So it appears that they're using the same piece to make them, but the HP 22 is cut off earlier, or right here, you can see the differences there. There's the 22, that's the 25. So they're slightly different. Um, the top part is shaped a little different as well, if you look, but not much. So a lot of this looks like it's the same equipment, just a slightly different. Uh, as far as the uh, capacity, the HP-22 is a 10-round magazine capacity. I don't know of any f larger capacity magazines for the HP-22. The HP-25, which is the 25 caliber that my wife has, uh, it is a nine round capacity. Um, pointability of the gun appears to be quite good. Uh, the trigger is not the best in the world. It does have a little bit of take up, but it is pretty sharp at the end. Uh, it does have a bit of a pull and it's a very heavy gun. It's not a light gun. Uh, I believe we're talking about, um, I believe 30 ounces for the gun. I have not weighed it. I probably should have before I even started talking about it. But uh, it is an external extractor over here. Um, and the functionality of the gun appears to be quite good. I don't know of longer barrels for the HP-25. Uh, like I have shown before, the HP-22 does have the longer barrel. Um, but comparatively, the two feel about the same. They look about the same. They shoot very similar. In fact, this is the reason I got the HP-22 was as a, a practice gun for my wife. I had bought it so she could practice with it, but I had bought it because I wanted a 22 semi-automatic with a targeting barrel as well. Um, so with that known, I had bought her the 25 because I knew there was a matching 22 for it. Um, she, I have tried to get her to go higher in caliber, and I think she'd be willing to if we could find something with a safety, uh, that was reasonably priced and small. So, the 25, uh, the magazine does fit in pretty easily, fits down in, and drops free pretty easily. Uh, the safeties work pretty positive, there's no pulling the trigger, you can't even cock the hammer with the, with this safety on. Uh, that was at half cock, by the way. Uh, the hammer block actually works pretty good. It can't function with it, or it will block the hammer from hitting the safety, or the firing pin. So that's pretty good. Uh, the pointability is good. It does have uh, adjustable rear sights, so you can adjust the sights back sideways either way. Um, the barrel is pretty easy to remove for cleaning, uh, and it's a pretty functional cyst gun. While the 22 does have a restriction of uh, standard velocity rounds, the 25, I haven't read any restrictions in the manual at all. Uh, however, I don't believe they make plus P25 ammo. Um, what do you think? Would you buy something this small? Uh, go ahead and leave me a comment, share, like, subscribe. Uh, if you want to see more of this gun, let me know. If you want to see something else, let me know. This is Pagan Shooter.